Hey everybody, this is Dan from Dan's Collectibles. Just want to show off some finds I got from a yard sale over the weekend. Got these fantastic old postage stamp books with stamps in them. This first book here is from 1932. It has stamps from the late 18, from the mid to late 1800s, all the way up to 1932. And this book here is printed in 1935. Can you believe that? These books are like 87 and 80. 5, 84 years old, and they have quite a bit of stamps in them. A lot of them are canceled, but the books alone, sent these to a friend of mine, some photos, and they're like, the books alone are worth money. I paid 40 bucks for all this stuff. I made hundreds on this, the guy thinks, possibly, depending on the individual stamps, but the books alone, even in their not-so-great condition, are still worth quite a bit of money just because of their age. So, fantastic finds. This is fantastic. This first one of U.S. stamps. You know, look at this. It's in pretty good condition. It's original copyright, 1932. Second edition, 1933. Fantastic. It's got it's pages and pages of different types of st stamps and stuff that the government used over the years. Not to mention, uh, you know, all kinds of different type issues. A lot of it's empty, of course, as you can see. But as you go through it, there's more and more. It's actually pages with stamps. Let me find some. Is there another one here? Anyway. There's some from 1922 to 1926. A couple of more stamps there. Really cool. Look at this. There's a good one. These are issued between 1926 and 1932. Really cool. Of course, they're all canceled. But that is really cool. Some loose stamps here. Abraham Lincoln, Liberty. Different stuff. Nice. I'm trying to find some of the stamps on it here. These between 1922 and 1923. Cool. Some from 1922. 1893 stamps. Look at that. These are cool. These commemorative stamps from 1893. Some 1932 Washington Bicentennial stamps. Would have been his 200th birthday, so that's what they did, Bicentennial. Cool. Commemorative stamps from 1932. Arbor Day, Olympic Games, Pennsylvania, and they got some states and treaties of peace issues. Really cool. Wow. Airmail stamps, 1930. 31, 32. I'm skipping pages here, just trying to go through these fast, but this is cool. Special delivery issue stamps from 1922, 1925, 27. Official seal stamp there. Post Office Department official steel. That's from like 1870, 1870s anyway. Cool, yeah, official seals information here. Looks like 1877, that is wild. <sighs> Stuff that's 150 years old, unbelievable. Well, 140. Empty pages, but still. Revenue stamps. Look at these from the 1862 to 1870. These things were issued. The cancellations were done in by pen. You took an ink pen and they wrote on it to cancel it. Because obviously they didn't have machines to cancel it like they do today. Pretty wild, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
I need a third hand to do this. There we go. Coming up for more. Pl oh yeah, there used to be tax on playing cards years ago in the 20s. Use the taxes on packs of playing cards, you know? 1929, 1929, 1930, cigarette tubes, flat plate printed stuff. <laughs> Pretty wild, huh? Just trying to flip through these quick. What do we got here? 1933 stamp. Nice, canal zone, oh, that's cool. From the Panama Canal. Nice. Pretty neat. Book one, book two. This one has a lot more stamps. This is the book from 1935. Copyright 1935, Whitman Publishing Company, Racine, Wisconsin. Printed in the United States of America. Well, I would hope so. Okay. Tells you how to collect stamps. Look at that. How to collect stamps. <laughs> oh, it's stamps by country. Neat. Countries that don't even exist anymore. Some of these. Argentine Republic, South America. Cool. Australia. Yeah, these are from like 1902. First issued in 1902. Still, since the book was in 35, they're from that time period. Austria. Really cool. Huh. Page after page. Belgium from way back. Nice. All these stamps, cool. Brazil. These are cool. Here's a bunch from Canada. Let's go way back. I'm skipping pages here. More from Canada. Wow, look at all these from Canada. Some were stuck on the other page and came off. Ceylon, nice looking stamp, it's cool looking. From Ceylon in Asia. From Chile, a couple from Chile. Stamps were like real works of art in those days. You know, today there's just, yeah, great, has a flag on it. Well, it's great that it has the American flag on it, but this stuff was like art. Like the old paper currency from years back. Before they redesigned it all, it was a work of art. Colombia, I can go on and on. It's every country. Some of the, the countries that don't even exist anymore. Some of these as well. There's Cuba. Wow. Really old Cuban stamps. Okay, be careful these pages. Czechoslovakia is a country that no longer exists. That's cool. These are old. Denmark, wow. Ecuador, Eastern Silesia, <laughs> no longer exists. God, these are countries that haven't existed in decades. Egypt. France, old French stamps. Cool. Pretty wild. French Oceana, jeez. That's a nice stamp. I think I got my money on these. Some old German ones. Don't see any from 
the Third Reich, but it's not Deutsches Reichsmax, maybe. It's probably from World War One too. Cool stuff. A lot of German stamps here. Of these, otherwise, these videos get way too long. Italy, here we go. The Italian Somaliland. <laughs> That's a cool looking stamp. Wow. That's not even cancelled. No, it's not. Nice. Italian stamps. Cool. Jamaica. Japan. These pages are so fragile. Lebanon. <laughs> wow. Mexico. guessing that since this book was printed in 35 that all these stamps are obviously issued before 1935. So I'm looking at stuff that's like 80, 84 years old anyway. Paraguay, Poland, wow. Cool. Queensland, Australia. Reunion Africa, wow. French colony. From 1852, Jesus. Wow, Romania, Russia. That is wild, a lot of cool looking stamps. Some un not even canceled. The Russian stamp, that's pretty cool. That's not canceled either. Nice. Skipping pages. That's a cool one from Senegal. Siam. Lots of Spain ones. Cool. Sweden. It's from 1856, my god. I'm skipping a few pages, they're sticking together and I don't wanna try to take them apart. South Africa, Got a whole bunch from South Africa. Well, here's a whole bunch from the United States. Wow. Hey, upside down airplane. No, that would have been cool. <laughs> That's like the big rare one that everybody wants. Wow, a lot of US, old US stamps. Oh, pretty much all of them look canceled, almost all of them anyway. Like that's not, that's cool. That doesn't appear to be either, but it's damaged. More on this page. Neat stuff. Wow, even more. Airmail stamps like that. That's cool. Worcester, Mass. Hey, hey. I'm in Massachusetts, so that's cool. Something local, Boston, Providence.
These are some really cool stamps. <laughs> New issues? From what year? From the 30s, I'm sure. Somebody wrote 437 stamps in book, May 1st, 1944. Wow. That's cool. So 1944, this person had 437 stamps. I'd have to count them, Let's see what's here. I'm sure some have fallen out, not all in here. That's cool, philanthropic map. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment, or uh, subscribe. Thank you.